What's up guys and welcome back to Broken Age on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode we played as Shay, but the last time we played as Vela, our head got a little bigger. <laughs> well, now we gotta think with our noggin and see how much we can uh, make it even bigger. So that hopefully it explodes or something. Let's go to the starboard passageway. Me, let's go. All right, then I forget where this one leads, so hopefully it isn't too bad. Hmm. Oh, she's talking about the perfume from the fish area. All right. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. It went back to normal. Already. Didn't ah, it? There's my old head again. Why? Are you sure? It still looks a little big to me. Yes. <laughs> this is all brains. Wow. Okay. What a rude door. All right. Let's go back down through. Then I'm a little confused. Um, did we do this wrong? All right. It, that'll enlarge that. All right then. So. What happens if we go through this one then? Is this one gonna make it bigger or smaller? I would hope it would make it bigger again. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh. Okay then, it looks like we have sort of a puzzle to f figure out here, so. We can't go through that one, so the only one we can possibly go through now at this point is this middle one, so. <laughs> it looks so silly. You know, she hasn't said much since the ship was attacked. Hope she's okay. She's just being a drama queen so she'll get special maintenance. Give it up, Nadine! Nadine? Oh, the door, wait, this door is named Nadine. So, she's being a little upset because of everything that's going on. Maybe there's something we can do to help solve that at some point in the future, but for now, looks like we gotta, um, just keep going through. Um, maybe we could, uh, hmm. We've gone over here, right? We've gone through and done this stuff, right? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, we haven't been in the kitchen for sure. No, it's locked. Uh, where's Knifey? Bring it back to your house, huh? Think you can pry this door open, Dutch? Sorry. Once they're locked, only Mom can open them. She's the brain of the operation. The brain, eh? Can you take me to her? I tell you this, you're getting warmer. Hooray! Okay, we're getting closer. I mean, of course, we ran into her in the last episode. We like we said, you know, like, hey, we're here, but he wouldn't. She wouldn't believe that it's us, so we still need to figure that out. There's so I don't much. Think this helmet would do much good there. Hmm, I'm really not sure. Then what about out here? Can we look outside? Looks like we can. Wow. We're pretty high up. Yes, we are. Okay. Hmm. No. Uh. Uh. What's wrong? Can't go the same direction twice while we're having that head thing. Really? Yeah. Come back through me from the other side. Oh, don't be so lame. You and your head will be approximately good as new. So, I don't know what to do now. It just seems like every option we have, at least when it comes to the big head stuff, is out of our hands. How can we wake up the one door to get through it then? I'm not sure. I don't really know what, are the, what our other options are. All right, then can we go through hey, this Dad, door? Back to the next Yes, please. Okay, we can go through this one. So maybe we can go through this, and our head will get twice as big? Um, let's see. Oh, the moment of truth. Yes! Okay. Remember to come back through the way you came to avoid unwanted alterations. Now it's even bigger. Don't push it, honey. Come back through me before you pop. Alrighty then. So now we got a really big head. We still can't go through her. So let's see if we can't talk to mom like this, maybe? Maybe our deepened voice, or... I think it's supposed to get deeper, because when Shay's head got smaller, it got higher pitch, so hopefully, you know, that happens here. And maybe, because that's what she was trying to do earlier, was talking in like a deep voice. Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear you. It's me, Shay. You sound kind of funny. It must be the intercom. But still, I need a little more proof, Shay. I mean, whoever you are. I want to believe it's you, Shay, but everything is just so strange right now. First the crash, and then my controls went dead, and now I can't reach your father. I just, I don't know who to trust. So just make me feel better by answering a few easy questions, okay? Okay, maybe we can um, do this. Sure. All right, first question. What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal as a child? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. Mr. Mr. Go on. But, but, <laughs> Mr. Huggy? Huggy. Is that your answer? Yes. Mr. Huggy, I see. 
Oh, Shay, I'm so glad you remembered Mr. Hobby. I just totally looked down. He was the first friend I ever knit for you. I'm starting to feel kind of bad about this. What was that? Nothing. I see. Well, I have another question for you. Of all my little pet names for you, which one was your favorite? None of them. Um, oh gosh, Sweetie Puff or Snuggle Loaf? Uh, let's do, oh god, I don't know, they all sound so familiar, but not. I want to do Sweetie Puff. Sweetie Puff. What? Oh no. I never called you that. No. Whoever you are. But, oh please, can we not do this? That's, that's exactly what you used to say all the time. You hated my nicknames. <laughs> I mean, Shay did. Now just one more question, for safety. I used to make my son new space boots every year until his ninth birthday when he insisted on machine-made boots from the replicator. As he would surely remember, I tried to keep things fresh by never repeating a color or a pattern. So, please tell me what was the color, size, and pattern of his very first space boots. Oh boy, we figured this out last time. I think they were green. Green. And the size? Uh, size, size five? I, size five or six? Go with five. Size five. And the pattern? Skulls. Skulls. Oh. Oh. Oh, I really thought it was you, Shay. Leave me alone, whoever you are. Dang it, I think it was close, too. All right, then let's go back and try to find out what it is then. Okay, so I found out a good amount of information. These are his first boots right here, and they are polka dot, but... They don't they know the bronzed. color, but the other, the only other size I can find is size seven. So I can only assume that this is I'll him at age like six. So, but in this little page right here, it says that he lost or he gained three shoe sizes um, after the age of five. So if he was age five and then turned age six and got to a shoe size of seven, which was a positive of three, if we go backwards, you would see that the age five his shoe size would be four. So from what the information I gathered. At age five, his first pair of boots were polka dots that were um, size four, and I do not know the color, but I'm going to guess red, if that's an option. So let's find out. Hi. Um, red? Red. And the size? Four. Size four. And the pattern? I want to do polka dot. Polka dot. Dang I, it, really? I think I, I, I did as much. Like, there was not that much information to work with. That does it. I need to make a chart to keep these clues straight. I'll just take some of this paper and one of these crayons here. And voila. Oh my. Well, hard part's done. Now I just have to fill it in. I don't know if this makes it easier or worse. Uh, uh, what, what, am, I, what am I even looking at here? Like, what? Uh. I think I have all the clues So can I, I write I stuff on to this? To I don't know, chart. like, how, what button do I press to write stuff on here? Uh, can I not? That sort of makes it all worse. All the clues I need. Uh, I just have to put them together to I'm so confused. Chart. Can I press, like, what button can I press to do stuff with this? Maybe I can etch it on here? I don't want to I don't know that this game is going over the deep the end. So with a good amount of research and even more guessing, I think I found our answer. Hi. I think they're purple for some reason. Because everything else, green, red, blue, was taken up by some other boot except for purple. So maybe I can just make that jump? And purple. then, I think I was right with size 4. I don't think it's size 3. Size. And then they were definitely, definitely polka dot. Polka dot. Yes! Okay, finally! That was dumb! <laughs> Woohoo! It is you! Oh my gosh! <gasps> You're not a computer. You're not Shay. This is all so confusing. She looks way different than I expected. Oh gosh, and now we're tackling her. And now we're closing a room with her. Can we just figure out what's going on? Oh. Who are you? What have you done to our ship? Where's my son? Uh, she wants answers. I want answers too. <laughs> All right then, so I guess in the next episode we'll get some answers, but in the meantime, I want to tell her. I want some answers. Me too! Who are you, and why have you been kidnapping girls with this ship? Are you insane? 
No, I'm not actually. I just want answers. A lot of them. My name is Bella Tartine. I shot down your ship. What? Why? We are an unarmed deep space vessel on a peaceful mission. No, you're not. Not at all. Where is the big mom computer that controls this ship? Mom computer? What, what are you talking about? I find it funny that she has so little knowledge of what's going on on her own ship. That's so weird. The wolf told me about you. Okay, now just calm down. You need some help. You are not in space. Look at that window. Well, not anymore. You shot us down. No, you were never in space. It's all fake. The stars are on the inside. On the outside, you're a monster. But... She's right, my friend. Merrick? There he is. That's the wolf I was talking about. That voice. Hey, why aren't you trapped under that junk anymore? I am no wolf, am I, Hope? I'm an old friend. Who are you? <gasps> Marikai, Wh what are what? you doing here? I'm here to finish Operation Dandelion for you. I'm sorry that we had to keep some aspects of the mission secret from you and your family. But how are you... You said our world was dying. It was, but then you went forth and found our salvation, as so many have before you. The Mogs. Sorry about the outer space theatrics. Just a precaution to save you from the temptation to go native, as some of your predecessors did. We were never in space? <laughs> no. Laruna is a great empire unto itself, but is part of this very same planet. Beyond the Plague Dam. Funny you should mention that, Bella. Because here we are. No, oh, no. What's going on? Now, while I prepare the ship for sterilization, you two sit tight and relax, and know that you are contributing to the well-being of many generations to come. I am so confused. And a shrug. Captain, I'm here. I'm a weapon. She has her own version of the knife, and there is hope, I guess. I, I, where is this hope coming from? I am so confused. I don't know about you guys. Let me know if you're confused, because I am really, really confused. But hopefully, by the next episode, we'll have a little less confusion when I rewatch this and editing, and hopefully grasp a little more of what just happened. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, and if you enjoyed all the crazy stuff that happened, make sure to give it a like and comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.